back orders are purchase orders made to the supplier for products that are already out of stock from a given location being served. Back ordering is the process of selling inventory that the company doesn't currently have on hand and can therefore only take place when demand is captured in a formal manner. Otherwise, in a retail store for example, most customers would simply move on when facing an out-of-shelf situation without reporting the missing product to the store. Back orders represent specific challenges in terms of inventory optimization as back ordered units are typically associated with a degree of urgency coming from the client. Back ordering represents a way for clients to order a unit that is not presently available. This situation often arises in B2B sales context. For example, a pool of aircraft parts should be able to serve all the parts requested. And any request that cannot be immediately fulfilled from the stock on hand will trigger a back order. Back orders can also take place in B2C context, typically in e-commerce. A given product can be flagged as available, say within two weeks or any other similar timeframe that represents the e-retailer's best guess about how much time it will take to have that product delivered at the time the order is being made by the customer. Expensive products are also frequently back ordered from the store with the help of a store clerk. Furthermore, some verticals like fashion, for example, get a steady amount of returns, sometimes as high as 50% of the original demand. In such situation, a back order might have a good probability of being fulfilled through the expected returns and thus might not even need an actual purchase order to be made to the supplier. However, in B2C, the order product may not always be delivered to the customer in the end because the costs involved in delivering the product may vastly exceed the benefits. Therefore, it is advised to have a process in place to handle, as gracefully as possible, the situations where the product will not be delivered to the client within the originally advertised time frame. This process typically includes a proactive refund for the product, but may also include an additional gift voucher as a compensation for the unfulfilled order. In fact, the backordering process is nearly always linked to clients experiencing extra sensitivity to the actual duration of stockouts. Indeed, with back orders, clients are taking an upfront commitment for purchasing a product that is not readily available, and extended product unavailability is going to be received as a lack of good service provided by the distributor. From an inventory control viewpoint, back orders are typically represented as negative values within the available stock. But the available stock should not be confused with the stock on hand, which represents the quantity of stock physically present on the shelf. By definition, the stock on hand value cannot drop lower than zero, while the stock available can take both positive and negative values. When minimum order quantities are present, or MOQs as they are also known, they typically interfere with back orders. In this case, it is not possible to always make a purchase order that is exactly matching the back order quantities since the purchase order needs to satisfy the MOQ constraint as well. When MOQs are specifically large, it is not always a reasonable economic option to fulfill every single back order because satisfying the MOQ constraint may result in creating a lot of that stock. Thus, it is important that the availability of a product always takes into account the MOQ constraint. To summarize all this, back orders are orders placed on products that are currently not in stock for the customer to get their hands on and represent a complexity that must be carefully managed to capture a greater portion of customer demand without compromising service.